When their opponents come looking for a fight, the Admirals turn, turn to their tough guy, Eric Nielsen. Now, some may call him a goon. That's a longtime hockey nickname, but Nielsen has another name for his job. Chris Reckling joins us tonight with his story. Norfolk Admirals tough guy Eric Nielsen is quick to drop the gloves. He is considered the Admirals enforcer. When it's time to protect a player or send a message, Nielsen doesn't hesitate. Back in the day, hockey fighters were called goons or tough guys, but not today. I wouldn't say it's a designated tough guy anymore. Maybe 20 years ago, I think that term was used. Now it's more of a, an energy guy. Um, fighting, as you know, it's getting less and less in the game. You don't have those guys that sit on the bench and not play anymore. You have to be able to play the game as well as stand up for your teammates and yourself. Creating energy out there, whether it's a hit, whether it's a fight, you know, driving hard to the net. And uh, that, I'd say that's my role on the team. There is plenty of strategy involved with a hockey fight. Nielsen does research before each game and studies the other team's tough guy. He even practices his fights during workouts. Square off like this, I try to get him. Look if he's a righty or a lefty, he's a righty. Oh, and then he switches left. So I read that, I look in his eyes, see if he's gonna come in when he comes in with a punch. Or grab like that, and then you tie up. And then you look for an opportunity. Maybe throw a right. Maybe throw a left. At 6'1", 215 pounds, Nielsen is considered small for an enforcer, but that's not a problem for the New Brunswick Canada native. A lot of the guys I fight are 6'3", 6'5", uh, you know, we got 20 pounds or so on me, but uh, there's certain techniques that I use against certain guys that, uh, that I find work for me, and, and like I said before, there's ways you protect yourself, but just part of, the, part of the job, and I like to say the bigger they are, the harder they fall, but that's not necessarily the case all the time. Yes, these tough guys may be a menace on the ice, but some of the nicest guys off of it. I don't know why that is, but I'll tell you, I've never met a guy that, uh, you know, inside the 200 by 85, will uh, we'll fight like a gladiator and then come off the ice uh, when he's out of the environment and be the first one to pick up a child or sign an autograph or go visit a hospital and see a sick child. You know, you ask 10 fans what they like best about hockey games, 9 out of 10 are going to say the fights. And uh, I think it's great. I think it's, it creates a good atmosphere. I know a lot of fans enjoy it. In Norfolk, Chris Reckling reporting for the Sports Wrap. Thank you, Chris.